Let's go. All right. It's been a while since we've done all of this, so welcome back while we get everything all set up. Remember, sometimes it throws it down here for whatever reason. See? Hi. Don't know why. Oh, let's make sure we got our volume down here. All right. Unicorn of the day. You know what? You might want to do it again after everybody comes. When did you get that one? From the witch's, witch's festival. festival. Oh. I gave away three toys. That like weird poofy unicorn. The that, weird poofy unicorn. Like he had the rainbow mane, the, and then he just mane. went to a poof. A poof. A yeah, poof so mane? it was like poof, poof, and then rainbow, and then poofy tail. It's like just have one for the hair and one for the tail. Like either have like rainbow mane. Hello, or Sue Ellen, and welcome. Glad to have tail, you back. Or a poofy mane. Yeah. Or a rainbow tail. <laughs> well, that's <gasps> kind of a... Day. Hello, Bobby. Welcome Ooh. back, you guys. It's been a while, hasn't it? I mean, it feels like forever, and I cannot believe that school already starts next week. I mean, it feels <sighs> like school just ended. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't want to go back to school. I okay, now wait a second. Friends. Wait a second. Like, this whole COVID thing, you've been like, I can't wait to go back to school. I can't yes, wait to go back to school. I don't want and to now go you're back like, to online. Well, see, now you get to go back to school. No. <laughs> so which one well, do you want, you. no or yes? Look at all of our friends we've got. Sherry, we've got Louise, <gasps> Marlene, and Bobby. <laughs> so Kathy is here. Hi. So all it's kind of awesome fun. people. Yes, all the awesome people. This unicorn so, also comes in a little crate. It's so cute. Maybe we should get you a little box. You can stick you in the box. <laughs> we've got a little box. It's called Yay. a telescope box. That's a great one. big box. <laughs> Did you guys take that out shooting the BB gun? No. Hmm. We got another big box. Yeah. Oh, okay. We shut that so. BB gun. <laughs> Mine never did. Yeah. You didn't come with us. You stayed at Grandma Grandpa's house. Oh. All right. So, well, we figured we would have, since we have one last week of, of freedom so far, I guess we could call it freedom, huh? Yeah. From school? It's school, school is horrible. School we have to wear uniforms and we have to wake up at six. Whatever, you just tried on your uniform and you're like, I'm going to wear this all day long. I don't want to no, get out. I feel like wearing it because it's so comfortable. Well, good, then at least you know you're going to be comfortable when you go to school. Show them this piece. Show them that piece? Do you know how old this piece is? How? Let's see. Ready. I made this piece in 2009. When I wasn't even born. Yep. And that, that's when Kate was three years old? <laughs> In 2009, yes. She was about three. Yeah, because six, nine, three, six, nine. Yep. And she was born at six, so three years later would be nine. You're like, right. Good job. See, we haven't lost everything over the summer. Huh. <laughs> okay. And, and she is still kind of crazy. So anyway, what we figured I mean, we would do, what's that? I mean, that never goes away. No, that never goes away. We do need to bottle some of her energy. Where's your apron? Oh, I want to show them the apron. I think they've seen your apron. Anyway, so we figured what we would do is just to have some fun back to school jewelry. The girls want to make some rings. Kiari made a spinner ring and Kate, while she made a spinner ring, it wasn't a ring for her. So yes. And it says, this kid has too much energy. No, so it's true. way too much energy. Oh, way too much energy. <laughs> you know, and it has a little way bit of too much energy. And did you know that you just shoved your sister out of the way? You're like, <laughs> 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 All right. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, there definitely are some things that never change. Kathy, the stone in this is actually a um, dichroic glass. So, yeah, it is a very pretty one. Like some, some ways it's like pink and purple and other ways it's green and yellow. So it's kind of, it's one of those uh, that's hard to see. it looks a little bit brown and red and Brown gold. and red and gold and blues, I see. Yeah, it's got them all. I don't see blues, but it's so <laughs> It definitely has all of them, Oh, wait, 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 do that what? again. When it was like right there, I saw some green. Did you see the green? Yeah. yeah, that's kind of fun. So anyway, we thought that we would make the rings, like I said. So Kate did a spinner ring, or, but it wasn't, thing. what's that? His headphones on my apron. 
Yes, there are headphones on your apron in the picture, huh? So anyway, we figured we would make some rings. And so Kate is going to make a spinner ring. Uh, we've talked about it before that my kids have ADD and ADHD. And one of the things that it's went. in my bathroom. Oh. I know exactly where your spinner ring is. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. At least it didn't fall down the toilet. It that was nowhere near the toilet, thank goodness. But if it was, that would be bad because, that, well, we could always make it again, but. You always make things very it's interesting. It's a little bit bad. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Have so, a happy unicorn ring. Because morning. of, shh, okay. let me talk, please. Good morning. Okay, remember morning. what we've talked about? Yes. Okay. So we uh, figured that what we would do is Kate will make a spinner ring. So one of the things that the spinner rings do is they can help with people who have ADD and ADHD because it gives them a fidget. All right. And it's something that they can do that's inconspicuous and it helps them. So Kiari made hers so that it would fit her index finger. Where, which finger are you going to do for yours? Probably this one. The index finger as well. All right, and then for Kiari, I'm going to have her make a different ring. And look at this wire that I found for you. Can I see? <gasps> Hearts. Yeah. So this is a really cute wire that we get from Halstead Bead. And I know you can't see that right now on your screen. And we'll show some close-ups in a minute. Uh, I don't know. It's, that camera only shows Kate's head. But anyway. There we so, go. Here, do we want to show? What's that? Probably do this finger. Really? Let's see, let's see if we can get this camera here. Just a sec, there we go. So on this one, it's a wire and it has all these little hearts on it. So I figured this one would be kind of a cute ring it's for, so for Kiari. I'm glad that you like it. So that's, I guess that's a positive we that we should, should do it. should have a unicorn on it because then it'll have I don't have a unicorn, it's but right. I do have a butterfly. So we could solder on a butterfly or we could do a flower and then set butterfly, a little two butterfly. millimeter stone on it. Butterfly. You want to do a butterfly? Yeah, butterfly is a piece. So girls, Not if flowers. we are going to make a ring, what is the first thing we have to do? Measure. Yes, we have to measure. Well, or that one too. <laughs> so we're going to do, we're going to use some ring gauges. Now these ring gauges are from Durston and they are meant to be paired with their ring mandrel. Now there are a lot of ring mandrels out there, there are a lot of ring sizers out there and it is important that you know how to work the two together, okay? so. Oftentimes, especially when you've got companies like Durston or Pepe or Swanstrom or whoever else has, stop please, that has the ring mandrels and sizers, they will make sure that they go well together so that they're machined perfectly. But you always want to at least try it out and make sure that when you put on a ring sizer that it fits true to whatever your ring mandrel is. So in this case, it looks like I've got a size six and if I look, it's perfectly a size six and a six and a half fits perfectly at six and a half. So we know that those are pretty good. And you would always want to test whichever ring sizers you have with whichever mandrels you have. I like this, uh, the one from Durston. It's got this handle that makes it really, really comfortable to hold. A lot of other ring mandrels, they'll come down and they might have that much of a tang right there. So it's kind of awkward to hold a little bit, but this one is really nice, it's comfortable, try it. And this is heavy, why is it heavy? Do you know? It's metal. Well, okay, but it's not just metal, what kind of metal? Ooh. Heavy metal. A heavy metal. <laughs> is, it the, is it this type? Yes. It is actually. It's steel. Right. Steel, yeah. Yep, it's okay. steel. Something. So welcome Nazim and Bobby and Marcel is here yes, too. It's a one. So we have a lot of our friends it's back the, online yeah, again. Yeah, everybody. Metalsmith wand. <laughs> it's a metalsmith wand. This is a magic wand, and every metalsmith needs to have one, <laughs> especially if you make rings. When you go to Harry Potter <laughs> world. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'd want to carry one. this around, though. Could you imagine carrying that around? See, but if it's that'd a be wand, terrible. then you use your magic to make it lighter. All right, so Kate, tell me. There's, when you have ring sizers, there's like a one and a one minus, a four and a four minus. What is the difference? Do you remember? And you find your Some size. are smaller and some are bigger. Absolutely, some are and smaller and some are bigger. But, wait, 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 shh, 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 hold on. Hmm. What does the minus mean? Oh, like minus. 
something. It is actually like not degree, a minus. Like minus degree. It's actually not a minus. No, so I guess we should say, what does the dash mean? For some of you that haven't seen you remember the unicorn Kate? already, mm -hmm. here's the unicorn. Mm -hmm. What is it? Unicorn of the week. Unicorn of the day. Oh, it's the unicorn I, of the I day. I have a different unicorn too that I want to try. Oh, so we're going to have a different unicorn every day? Well, not every day. Not every day? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what does the dash mean? What do you think? Do you want to do that? One? So, if there's a six and a six dash, what does the dash mean? You guys have to tell me. Uh, the dash means like sometimes when you talk, there's like a little dash. <laughs> okay, but no, like I'm just talking on the ring sizers, because I'll tell you right now, no, the six is smaller than the one that has the dash. Mm -hmm. What is it? Yeah. It's a half. So when you have that, then we have a half. Okay? So. It's going to be this one for this finger. And what size is that? Eight. A size eight? Okay. So we need a size eight for you. Let's figure out what size we need for you. Which finger are you going to wear your ring on? I don't know. Should I wear it on this finger or this? Not on your index finger because that's the one where you're going to wear your spinner ring. So I think maybe we should do your ring finger. Merry ring. Your merry ring. Well, that would be on your that left I hand. I did the last time. What? I think this is the one that I did for this fidget. Oh, look at that! I almost no. Your fidget fits here on your index uh, finger. I think maybe we ought to go up just a little bit on this one. Whoo! You got tiny fingers. That is a size four. That feels a bit loose. I feel a little bit loose. All right. So then I'll tell you what, because three and a half is too small. So if a three and a half is too small and a four is too big, what do we do? Go between. We go in between. So what's in between a half and a whole? A quarter. A quarter. So if you three add, quarters. yes, it's a three quarters. That's so three in nine your nine case, quarters. yours is three and three quarters. Nine That's and three tiny. quarters. Nine and three quarters. Someone <laughs> needs to have a nine hey, and three Hey, look, quarters. Tracy just sent you a whole bunch of hearts and unicorns. Someone needs Thanks. to have a ring size of nine and three quarters Kate, and needs I to have be a huge that? Harry Potter Please, fan. Can I yes. Okay. So remember your sizes, okay? Nine and so three now. Quarters. And here's my magic wand. Yes. Okay. So here's the next thing that we need to do. Is X we thing next we need thing. To do. Oh, I heard. Well, here's the X thing we need to do. Yes. Well, the next thing. We need the to next do. thing. Yes. So what we're going to do because the chart that I have right now has not been updated yet to millimeters. We need to figure out how thick <laughs> our wire is. I stole your metal. Mm, you stole the wire, you stole the bomb. <laughs> All right, so Kiari, yours is a 20 gauge. And Kate, this is what I have for you. So this is going to change how we have to measure things because this is 10 millimeters wide. Whenever you have a wide band, you actually have to add a little bit of length to it. You have to add 0.4 millimeters, okay? Or 0.5 millimeters even. What's 0.5 it, millimeters? Let's do 0.5. It's half a millimeter. Okay, and that doesn't seem like a whole ton. Oh, look, Glenda just joined us. Half Welcome, Glenda. Meter. What type of meter? A millimeter. A millimeter. That's the little itty bitty one, okay? Is this it? So yours is also 20 gauge. Is this it, Okay. Mommy? Why is it 20 gauge if you can barely fit it in there? Well, no, but I could fit it in there. Mommy, it's okay. Is this We're not going to use that whole thing anyway. Is this how much you need? Uh, no, it is not. You're is there. Yes, that's closer. Okay, so anytime you have a thick band, you need to add half a millimeter. Do you know why? Mm -mm. Well, because if you have a wide band and you try to fit it onto your ring, your finger is going to fill in that whole area and it makes it really hard to get it off. It almost makes it so that it's too small. Okay, so Kiari is not going to have to add anything to hers because her ring is smaller than five millimeters or four millimeters. Okay. Good job, thank you. Oh, I missed that. I did, sorry. Okay, so both of you guys have a 20 gauge ring. Now this, so what do you remember what 20 gauge is? How thick is 20 gauge? Do you remember? Uh, 20 gauge oh, it's not on here. You can look all you want. Oh. Is 20 gauge a millimeter? No. 20 gauge is actually just a name. And that's why we try to get away from using gauges. What's okay? Gauges? Um, 
A gauge is a name oh, for a size, but it's never... This almost looks like that, but it's... No, that's just a piece of copper. So a gauge is just a name of a size, but it's not even very accurate. So some 20 gauge wires could be 0 0.8, 0 0.9, or even 0.7 millimeters. Okay, so you can't add a, num a name. That's like adding George and Sam together and expecting mm -hmm. to come up with a number, right? So that's why it's so important that we need to know um, what the what the actual measurement is because you can add millimeters welcome Yvonne glad that we at least caught you for a little bit and we'll catch you on the replay bye bye so anyway so what I have here is I've got a little chart size chart ring sizer I guess and so what we have to do is we have to figure out what size we need so Kiari if you look at yours oh stop all right we know that you need a three and three quarters right and we're working with 20 gauge. So what does that say right there? 48.4. 48 48.4. So what I need you to do is use this caliper. It's millimeters. Oh, inches would be gigantic. Like, do you know what? You're not, you're just barely that size. If you did that in inches, that's about how tall you are. That would make a pretty big ring. <laughs> I think we better stick with millimeters, <laughs> don't you think? What is it? 48.4. <laughs> so see if you can get it to 48.4. Keep going. Giant You've got a long ways to go. So, to there you go. Back, grab your feet. All right. So Kate, using this chart, Dionysia, it's good to see you guys too. We're so glad you guys all joined us today. So Kate, use the chart. Find a size eight right in 20 gauge so 20 gauge is this column right here let's so find your size <laughs> eight make sure you're in the right column 48.4 <laughs> what 48 no you got 48.04 it needs to be 48.4 you're almost there i don't get it well it needs to be not a zero 48.4 yeah you can get your zero to go away see but it's gonna be really tricky. See if you can get it. It's gonna be tricky. You can do it though. <laughs> ah, Tracy, it. you are so nice. Thank you so much. It is, this is definitely a flip flop of understanding. Is that you, it? No, that's 48.8. Mm. You can do it, mm. keep trying. So oh, you, you need to add half a millimeter. So what is your measurement? I don't know, I don't know where the one is. Okay, so if you have to do 20 gauge, right? So we're in this column and a size eight. What sits there? What's that number? 59. 59. And you have to, that's 59 millimeters. How many extra do we have to add? Half. Is this it? We have to add half a millimeter. That is it, Kiari. So let's Wait, lock that down. That it's okay. That also has to be four? No, it doesn't, but it's, like your hair oh, yeah, is that thickness, right. so I don't think we're concerned about that. Cool. What? 59.5. 59.5. Good job. Okay, so Kiari, since you now have 48.4 on the calipers, good job. What it's we're going to do? 48.44. That's okay. That's close enough. Because you know how thick your hair is? Your hair is like 0 0.03. Okay, and this second four on here is like 0 .04, so it's like nothing. So that one's okay. The, it's the first number after the dot that we are concerned with, okay? So now that we have that, now you're going to take our calipers, and we are going to mark our wire, and sorry at home, I know you guys can't see this, but we are going to mark our wire right there where that is, right? And so that's where we're going to cut. So Kate, while I get her what cutting hers, say? I want you to get yours. Remember 59 point what? What did you say? No. Yes, 59.5. No, we are going to use this cutter. So this one is a hand shear. Okay. And what we're going to do, I want you to line this up on okay. this side of this mark right there. Okay. Like that? Mm hmm But I want you to try to cut not on the line, but right next to that line. Out? Like, or in? On this side. Okay. So on the outside. So okay, I get it. Don't cut on this side. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got it. Uh, nope, nope, nope. There you go. Uh, go ahead. 
keep it straight, keep it straight, and cut. Can you do it? Keep it, go cut, yep, good job. Nice job. Okay, so we cut it a little bit on that side, which is great because we need to put this into our miter vise and file What's this down. Miter vise? Do you remember what the miter vise is? I got it. Yeah, okay, isn't it that good. ginormous cube? Nope, a miter vise. Hopefully it is here or maybe it's sitting at one of my other benches. Not the ginormous cube, but the flat. Okay. It's like, yeah, it's a little the flat. flat. square one. Hmm. That's what I meant by cube. Okay, let me go see if I can find it because I think we used it this week when we were doing classes. <laughs> Is it on your student's desk? Um, I am not seeing it on my student's desk. Uh, uh, I guess I guess. Yeah, I'm going to have to. I'll help. You'll come help me look. Look on Kate's bench. See, it's, it's on Kate's bench. So did you get it? Oh, you got it right on, Kate. Good job. Oh, I found it. It was hiding. Ooh, I found your piece. Nice. Why is your piece in Mommy or in Kate's desk? I do not know. Okay, so we need a file. Here's our file. Oh, there's a beautiful flower on that angel. <laughs> you got a flower on your angel? All right, like so Miss Kate, cute. you can do the same thing. So you can either cut it with these shears or you can take it over to the guillotine shear and cut it there. Can you do our guillotine? Hello. Yeah, I would do it at the guillotine shear too. What's the guillotine? Why can't That's the great big shear. Because uh, yours was a little piece. So here's what we need to do on yours. Now that we've got this lined up right here, I'll do it. I'll do you it. You want to file it? But we need the block. Don't we need our bench pin. We do. Can you reach it? Uh, which bench pin? It's one with the wood. What? Do you see it? Okay, there's two. I know. Grab one of them. Okay, I'll just grab this one. Okay. Well, no, you need more than just the wood. Yeah. Bring the whole thing, I silly. I need to grab the wood. <laughs> she pulled out the bench pin and left the part that I attaches. I thought the metal part would come with the wood. Yeah, I know. But it's not in. No. Okay. So what we're going to do is we'll put this on the bench. Please. Let me move this camera so that people can see what you're doing. Uh, this shirt also says unicorn in training. Your shirt says unicorn in training? Yep, and I love unicorns, and nice. I'm a unicorn in training. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. I want you me. to file that off, okay? You can't be training yourself. My other unicorns are training me. Okay. Which side, the flat? The flat side. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Oh, you're pushing me out. No, I cut it. Is it too long? How long? Oh, not very much. Let's see. Mm. Oh, it's Kate's favorite sound. I don't even want <laughs> Here's all I did. All right, Kate, yours is like a hair too long, but it's okay because you have to file this anyway. Come here. Yes. 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 Or else you won't get to be in the studio. Hey Tom, welcome again. from Arizona. Look, Tom sent you a bunch of unicorns. <gasps> hey, 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 shh. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's see what we got. Okay, remember what you wanna do is you wanna hold this down. So yes, just like that. Good. Yep, and just keep it going. Nice job. Why are we doing this, Kiari? Because we're trimming it. But why are we trimming it? So it's Keep not going. too long. Okay, so it's not too long, exactly. And what else do we do with it? We By doing this, we're making it so it's nice and flat. Yeah, that right? too. Why is it important to have it flat? Because if it's not flat, you'll get poked. And that won't be fun. That won't <laughs> Well, it's not so that you'll get bleed. it's not so that you'll get poked on this one. It's so that the two ends will match up. And I like I, I like that you are using the whole length of that file. That is very good. That's exactly what we want to do. Do you hold it like this or can you I usually will put my finger I feel like right I'll here. Get slivers. Nope, you won't get slivers. I usually put my but finger I'll right get there. Like a metal. No, it, you might get a little bit of metal on you, but you're not going to get slivers. It'll be okay. Good. But yeah, by doing That's that... That's the only part that I'm scared of being in the studio. No, you'll be fine. So by doing this with the your finger... Shh, let me explain. 
Okay. Sorry. So remember what we said, okay? Remember, if I'm talking, you gotta let me finish, okay? Uh, okay. So, if you, you're doing this and you push with your finger, it helps to apply some pressure and it guides it along, okay? But yeah, that's looking really good. Almost. So, Kate, on yours, because we have yours, right? And so we're gonna need to file those ends just to make sure that they are completely flush. <laughs> she's not even listening. I know that. Well, she is listening. She's just plugging her ears so she doesn't have to listen to the file because she's silly. All right. Are we there yet? Let me see. No. Let me get this part really fast right here so we can keep going. Okay. Because another thing that you want to do is you notice how I change it. Yeah. I change directions. Okay. So you want to change the directions. Oh, it on me. Good day. That's why we have aprons. Could you get metal by doing, like slivers by doing no. that? No, these are just little itty bitty filings. These aren't going to be slivers. Okay, so that's, now. I hate slivers. That's the only part that I'm scared of being in. This yeah, way. yeah. No, these aren't going to give you slivers. Okay. So now what we want to do. I want to. You want to file it? Yeah, filing. Okay, you file that then. So okay. this one doesn't have as much on there, so it should go much, much faster on this one. Okay, so by doing it, why do we change positions? Why did I do that? So why did I change directions? Get it from different directions? Yeah, and that way we make sure that we really get it all good. Go ahead and do like a couple swipes before you change the direction. Okay, and then you can run your finger over it, and if you still feel it, then you still have more to do. Run your finger over it. Wait, there's a little bit there. Do you feel it still? A little. Okay, keep going then. And you want to go over that part that you can feel. Okay. Ah, uh, Annie gave you a whole bunch of unicorns today too. I know we like unicorns. Thank keep you. going. <laughs> what would our world be without unicorns? It would be horrible. It would be horrible. No, 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 no. Don't, don't tilt your file like that. Okay, because then you're just going to put a groove in it. So we just want to go, see now do you feel it? See, yeah, you no I longer feel, feel it. That. Yeah, you no longer feel it, so that's good. So now, scoot over so Kate can come in here and have her turn. Kate, I'll file it for you, but you have to come set this up. Okay, if you're not going to do that, then I will make you file it. <laughs> come here so that people can see what you're doing. Well, I told you I would file it for you because I'm a nice mom, but you have to at least get that set up in there. You remember how to do it? Okay. You have not even quite half a millimeter that needs to be trimmed off. So just ever so slightly put that out and then um, tighten it down and file the ends. Yeah, I think that would be really good. So really all we're going to do on yours is we're just going to make certain is it there? No, it's not even sticking out, honey. There you go. Okay, so on yours, what you're going to do is we're just going to make sure everything is nice and flush so that when we bring those ends of the ring around, that it will... What's this? Okay, watch out. That's a heat surface. Oh, that's but we just want to make sure that your ends will meet up nice, nice and tight. Okay, come sit up your other side. Kate, come set up your other side. What? Carrie, what are you doing? I'm okay, come set up the other side. I don't think we have any more. We need to go buy some more. All right, hurry fast. No. Yeah, we need to go buy some more zots. All right, so you're totally in the way. Nobody can see what you're doing. Can you see what I'm doing? I don't just know. There. They can't see through me? No, they can't see through you. It's amazing how that works. Welcome, Benira. Good to see you here. All right, so are you up against that little edge there? So that it's like nice and flush? Nope, you are not. So it's important that we use that little edge over here to make sure that we are nice and flush there. Okay, otherwise, you're going to end up with a crooked, uh, crooked piece. And see, I don't think we're flush here. Well, she says we are. It's confusing. Oh, yeah? It's actually not too confusing. You just want to make sure that you get it in here right. Otherwise, you end up filing 
a wonky spot, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Run away, Kate. Run away. Like oh, stop. Did. Okay. So, Kiari, tell me again. Oh, man, this wasn't tight enough, so it moved on us. Mm -hmm. Tell me again, why are we doing this? To flatten it out. To flatten it. Why is it important to have it flat? Because then it's easier to make. Okay, but we, when we go to solder our ring closed, it's important that we have a flush end, right? It's very, very important. Why is that so important? Especially for Kate's flush ring. End? Okay, good question. Kate, tell Kiari what a flush end is. And come over here so people can hear you. What's a flush end? Um, basically, like flat. Yeah, so we need flat ends. Okay, so now, I if we look at our piece, to have a flat they end. should be flat. And I'm just going to remove that little burr that's right there on those ends. Okay. Oh, look, it's magic. Kate's not looking away. What? It's magic. Oh, Kate's stop. Kate's not closing her okay. ears. So the, what do we need now that we have our rings, our ring stuff right here, right? Um, so now that we have these, Benira, yes, I can help you with that afterwards. Thank you. Uh, now that we have our ring blinks, Kate, you've got your head right in the camera, dude. So now that we have our ring blinks, what needs to happen to them? Oh, oh, they need to be bent. How do we bend those? Do you know? Guess what? I have a new tool that will help us. Yes. So we could do it with some pliers. But no, hang on. I'm wondering what that new tool, what that tool what that, like, well, No, 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 this is a vise. But our vise is going to hold something else. Oh, that thing in my bob. This thing in my bob. Okay. So, let me show you guys this. Wand. What's that? Not your magic wand. No, not the magic wand. Aww, All right. So, here we have a new tool in the studio. Actually, we have one similar to it that we've been using, right? What is this tool? Oh, look at Venera, you're so awesome. Okay, guys, we have to do a dance. You guys ready? Yay! Okay, ready? You are amazing! You are amazing! <laughs> and Kiari totally smacked me in the face. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> hey, I fit in the camera. Of course you do. Even if I'm standing. Yes, that's because you're little. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Venera. You're amazing. Oh, now it's like... <laughs> What's that? So, yes. Yeah, so, now there's two ways that you can do that. Now, keep in mind. So, here we have... This is a, a ring bending tool from Durston. And there are two variations that I've got videos coming out on both of them here pretty quick. The thing I like about this particular one, notice that it's double stacked. Okay, so the tool, the bending tool fits on the bottom and all the dies fit on the top. I like the dies on this one because they have both the Dalrin and the steel and they all are organized. They fit in one holder. So that's kind of awesome. So we're gonna try this. And the thing I also that I like about this one is that it has small sets. So it actually has smaller and larger than the one from Pepe. So this one starts at eight millimeters and goes all the way up to 24 millimeters. So it's kind of cool. Um, and then you also have a 90 degree and a 60 degree angle in here as well. So Kiari, I think that your finger is pretty small. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with this 10 millimeter one, mm -hmm, all right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we have this vise set up in here. And the reason we and have the vise. Like if those numbers get smaller like the eight. That means that it's eight millimeters in is diameter. Is that smaller than the 10? It is. But my thing is not that small. No, no. But that's why I think if we start with the 10, I think that that will be good. So let me show you here really okay, so quick what we're doing. But I got a horseshoe. <laughs> you got a horseshoe? Yes, you did. Okay, so let's make sure that this is nice and tight here. Thank you. So now there's actually another thing with that horseshoe of yours, Kate, that could cause a problem. Can you think of what it would be? 
It's almost like a horseshoe, but it's hard to bend it. Well, hers, the thing that we would have to be careful with, let's see, let's do it this way. Okay, so okay, now, I want to go, like, oh, I guess I need to close this up a lot. Hang on. Do, do, I opened it up too far. Here, I'll do it. Okay, hold on, watch out. Okay, so now, do you know how we're going to work this? Okay. I'm going to try. Can I close it oh, the good heavens. a little bit? Yeah, go ahead and close. Like Push it up, pull it up. There, I think we're good. Okay, we're nice and solid. So, would you now, this so okay, but first of all, before we get into that too far, Kate, you did it here on the ring mandrel, which is kind of awesome, right? Uh, yours was supposed to be a size eight. No, this is the scrap metal. Oh, I was gonna say you're coming nowhere near that. <laughs> okay, this, this like is the scrap, scrap metal scrap piece. Oh, oh, okay. Scrap so piece? no, hang on. What happens when you form on a ring mandrel? It, it gets like a horseshoe. Okay, well, it did turn into a horseshoe, and that's okay, because you can still bring this around, right? If you've got, if you have, aw, oh, look at Glenda. Glenda, thank you so much. So, Yay. she didn't give us, yes, yeah, so we're here. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> again, again, again. Again, okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we were all doing it at the same time. I know. It was pretty good. Was so awesome. thank you guys so much. We appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank um, you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> so you. when you thank use you. a mandrel, it's tapered. What's tapered? Covered in tape? No. Okay, what is tapered? So like one end will be small. So don't you, when you just finish the ring, you like flip it? Yes, you have to make sure you flip it over because you end up having that tapered effect, right? So one side is going to be smaller than the other side. So even when you're forming, that's something that you have to be aware of. If you are going to do this with a mandrel, it totally works fine. You just want to make sure that you're using the right kind of hammer. Like I would not use a steel hammer for this or even and a brass hammer. Which yes, it is. Good question. What type do you think? I want you to go over and look at the wall of hammers and you bring me the hammer you think would be appropriate for this. Okay, wow. and then we'll see how well you do. Kiari, on yours, here's what we're going to do. Now, we're going to put in the steel mandrel. Okay, yep, put that into that little holder. And there are two dies. Oh, yeah. That match this. Hang on. Yeah, one, one goes. Hang on. I'm going to show this right here. Let's come over to this. One goes by here and one goes right here, right? That would be an appropriate hammer, Kate. But there's some others there that I think I would probably, that one. Wait, are we going to use prefer. this one? Maybe even a little smaller one. Are we using this one? Okay. So why would we use this one, Kiari, over this one? So this is a steel one. more like a different metal. Mm -hmm. Is this steel? Okay. Is this steel? This is silver. Your ring is silver that we're then going to will be we making. Then we have to use the white. Okay. Or does the white only work for copper? No, 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 no. The white will work with any of our stuff that we're going to be using, but so does this. Okay. Here's the difference. And see, and you were talking about the oil. The reason that there's oil is because it's whoops. Uh oh. <laughs> Where did it go? Oh no. Oh. I think it fell out over there. It fell under. Did it fall under? Uh oh. I think I can get it. You think you can get it? It's gonna be a lot of my robo. <laughs> You'll be fine. So anyway, when these tools are brand new. Oh, I know where it is. It's closer to the other side. Okay, so when the tools are brand new, they come in covered in an oil, and that's so that they don't rust. Did you get it? No. Woohoo, you're awesome. No. Okay, come on. Ta-da! So, I did. Okay, so listen here. The reason that we would want the Delrin, so this is Delrin, which is kind of a, a hard plastic that will give a little bit. Why would we want the Delrin over the metal? The metal works on big, that one works on little. Oh no, they both work. But here's the thing, your wire has a design on it. Do oh, you yeah. want your design to get marked or marred or anything like that? No. No. So what we're going to do, and you want to know what, after looking at this, I think we should bump it up. I think we should go up to the, um, go up to the 12 millimeter 12? one. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be a better fit. Okay. Okay. So, and then you pick the die that you think is appropriate. So there we go. It's a tight fit in there, huh? They're, it's they're made to fit too. really, really well. Okay. So now where do we put that? <laughs> <laughs> we keep dropping 
the yeah, you dropped one. that one. Where did it go? <laughs> okay. It looks like a sugar cube. <laughs> a sugar cube. Ah, I love looking up at our messages and seeing the ones from Glenda and Benera. Thank you guys. It makes Just us so happy. Them. I like everybody. I do too. Well, that would be mean if you only like <gasps> 42. Dance with your life, the universe, and everything. <laughs> Yes, yes it Boys. is. Whoa. Okay, so Kiari, how do we do this? Do you remember? How do we form this? Let's wipe off this grease off yeah. of here. How do we form it? Do you remember? Um. So we're going to put it in here. My fingers. But here's what I want you to notice. We're not going to do it at yeah. the very end. Okay. Can you do it like in the middle, like what we did with the heart? Not quite in the middle, right? But and then you go ahead and, and push it. Yep, go ahead and do it. Okay, now, okay, stop, let go. So now I'm gonna come back and now do the end of it. Do you know why we do that? Good, okay. And let's come over here. Wow, we might need to bump up to the 14 on yours. Go ahead and do it again. Okay, good, do it again. Nice, and again. Does it make it nice and easy for you? Go ahead again. It's easy. Okay. Yeah, look, it's like a half Do it again. It's half of a heart now. It's I not. know. Okay, go ahead. How do you fix it? Because it's a oh, well, you'll see. Go ahead and do it again. Okay, good. And, and it went down a little. Did it go down a little? Okay, so let's. Looks like it. Do two. All right. So now this was off just a little bit, so we're just going to kind of bend I it around. Saying. Now I want to show you something else that's happening with your wire. And I want you to see if you can tell me it's why. It's kind of wiggly. It is a little bit wiggly. Do you know why it's wiggly? Why? Well, because your pattern on here, we have some really thick parts where the heart is, mm -hmm. and we have some parts that are not as thick. It's thick fat. Uh huh. And so, in those parts that are not as thick, it bends easier right there. Okay, so that's why we end up with these little it's bends like all a around it. Octagon almost. Almost, huh? Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to tighten this up just a little bit more because we want those ends to kind of stick together. Can I do it? Uh huh. So you see what I'm doing here is that we just do little tiny movements. Okay, now let's see if it works. It's tied. It still looks like a horseshoe. <laughs> Not only does it look like a horseshoe, there's a little bit of a flare out here. Okay, yeah, now another reason that Kate, that this was hard for you, is because you were trying to hold that mandrel in your hand. Rather than mounting it, have... you don't have the vise, exactly. Yeah. You guys are using it. Yeah, okay, so Kiari, what we're gonna do on this is we're actually gonna finish manipulating this by hand with pliers. Vice. What? You have another vise. I do have another vise. But that's okay. We're gonna do this right here, Kate. So now it's your turn, Miss Caterator. Can and I want you middle? to try with, hang on baby. Maybe Let's do the 18 millimeters. I think that would be probably the most appropriate for okay, you. Can I see the ring mandrel? Now I'm also going to select the Delrin. Why would we select the Delrin on yours? Mm -hmm. Yours does not have any pattern on your metal. So why would I still select the Delrin? Maybe not textured or something? Right, because we don't want it to texture. Now here's the nice thing about this particular die set. These have a radiused edge, so they're going to be less likely to mar your metal as you're trying to manipulate that metal. Well, that still possible. It is still possible. So that's why I'm opting to do the Delrin, okay? Mommy, so come in here and do this. Let me move out of your way. Yes. Okay, can I so, okay. You want to buy the hammer? Yes, Kate. But Kate, your head is right in the way. There you go. Here you go, Carrie. Will it also work for this? Ouch. Will it also yes, it would. Okay. All right. So, yep. So, just lay it in there. Good. Good. And then you're going to, yep, let go. Now, go ahead and do one more. And then what I want you to do is I want you to bring the end, this end, bring it back in so that it's centered and do that. Okay, so that way you get that nice curve right there starting from the very beginning, okay? So now, you don't have to push so hard, honey. So what I want you to do is release, just halfway, there you go. Now push, okay, and release again, and push, and release again, and push. Now here's another thing you can do. While you're pushing, you can actually push and hold it. No, push and hold it, there you go. You can push this around a little bit with your thumb, okay? Now let go. 
And then you can come around here, now push, and you can push around again. Okay, now let go, and push again. All right, and now do it again. Push, and again, push, and again, and one more time. Okay, so see, now we're actually pretty close here, right? Mm -hmm. um, to tighten this up, like this would be appropriate, the 18 millimeters, but sometimes what I'll do is I will drop down to the next size lower. So in this case, 16. Okay, go ahead. So why would I want to drop down? To tighten it? Yeah. Okay, so now go ahead and see if you can tighten that up to bring it around and get that all closed up where those two ends meet together, okay? There we go, so we get that. Okay, yep, that's looking good. So, and they're gonna cross over a little bit and that's okay. All right. <laughs> Kiari, Glenda says that you make her tired, but she's so happy to see all your energy. <laughs> so. I don't care how I make her tired, but okay. Was that? Yeah, that's good, that's really good. So now what I want you to do is I want you to put this end right here and push down on it right there at the very, kind of at that center of it. Good, all right, nice. Okay, so now we have a little bit of a peak here, okay, and we definitely don't want that peak when we go to, I guess I should hold it up enough on the screen, there we go. Um, we don't want to hold the, or have that peak when we solder that. So again, on yours even, and see yours kind of has one that comes up this way, one goes down that way, see yeah. that? So that's just something that we're going to manipulate with some pliers. And we're gonna make this kind of flat. And then after we get this all formed, we'll come back and round it all out. Cause like even Kiari's ring, we're gonna to have to round hers out too. Cause see how hers has like all those little angles in it. So we'll have to round hers out as well. Mm -hmm. Babette, these ring benders, you know, I just barely got this this last week. I'm very, very, very impressed with this particular set. I'm impressed with the finishing on each of the dies. I'm impressed with the way that the, Kate, can you get your hair out of here? Go pull your hair back. Um, I'm impressed with how these fit into here. They don't rotate, okay, because they, it fits in kind of like that puzzle piece there. So I really, I've really been impressed with this so far. I'm kind of excited, kind of excited, looking forward to doing my review on it. Okay, so, what's that? Yeah, you can. Okay. It's oily. All right, so the next, yes, it is very oily right now still. And that's just because it's still brand new. And it just came out of the package. So the next thing that I need you to do, I need you to hand me those pair of chain nose pliers, please. Hey, somebody, one of you two, they're not paying attention. What? Chain nose pliers. Which one to the chain That one, nose? yep, there you go. Good job. What? We still need to have some major lessons. Which ones are the chain nose? You should know that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna bring my chain nose, and this works with flat nose as well. You just want something that has flat jaws on the inside of that, right? So we're just gonna come in here, we're gonna kind of pinch it, and we just give it a little bit of a wiggle and see how that brought that down. Mm -hmm. And it kind of makes it even, and so, that's what we wanna see. Yeah. So what about for Kiari's where it has the little bump out? That's the, actually, we're not gonna be able to take care of those until we, there we go. See that, that lines up beautifully. See how, did you see how I altered that? And I just kind of made it so that it comes flat right here. So Kiari's is gonna still have these little bumps on it until after we solder it. Once we get it soldered, then we can put it on the ring mandle. We can go after it then with the nylon mallet and that will round it back out and make it smooth again. Okay, so good question. All right, let's see, what are we at time-wise? 30 minutes, okay, so we've got about 10 minutes before we have to go. 50 minutes, that's a long time. I know, it goes fast, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, so what would be the next step on your rings? What do you think? Kiari, what do we have to do next? Here. What do you think? Uh, we have to smooth something. <laughs> we have to smooth something? I don't know. Well, before we can smooth something, we've got to get it soldered. 
together. So what's our next step? Soldering. Soldering. Okay. So do you, um, Glenda, it depends. Sometimes I can get that ring so that it's nice and round. But the thing that you want to notice is that when you have, okay, I think we're done now. Well, for a little bit. It's too hard to get because it's I know. so thin. Well, I here, I'll tell you what. Come here. Let me put this back on here and you can shape it with this. And then you won't be hammering. How's Maybe that I'll sound? <laughs> okay, so when you are forming a ring, the important thing that you have mm -hmm. is that you get those edges completely flush. And you have a very hard time getting them flush when you come around. And the reason for that is because we cut it flat when it was flat. So it doesn't have a little bit of an arc to it that would allow it to actually come up here together in a round circumstance, if that makes sense. So that's when I'll put just a little bit of a flat spot on that where we now take it into more of a D shape because then we bring it back to where it would beat up flat um, and then you'd have those two flat edges and then you would put it you'd get it soldered you put it on your ring mandrel afterwards smooth it out and, you know round it out and that takes care of that D shape so good question all right Kiara go ahead and you can start to do that I think I think we probably ought to call it good for this video uh, and then next tomorrow we can pick up with the soldering and that way then I don't have to like spend every, all the time right now putting all this away. What do you think? Okay. You want to solder tomorrow? Sure. Feel good about that? Soldering. <laughs> yes, I We're love sure soldering. Fun. Yes. <laughs> So Louise, you said, I'm so happy to see the girls back this week. Yeah. I have to run. We're running With too. You do have new stuff. earrings to wear today. Thank goodness I liked your earrings. Those are good. Uh, for those of you guys who I do not know, fine. there's a couple and different things that happened stuff. within the last couple of weeks. One, I started a new group on Facebook. So it's called the Jewelers Corner. If you guys would like to join us. I mean, within a week, we had 1,500 people. It's been unreal. And it is an amazing group. It's all about tips, tricks, and hints, techniques, uh, and kind of helping each other and building each other as metalsmiths. So there, we've got some very, very, very basic beginner, and we have some extremely advanced, well-known names that are in this group. And these people, uh, they love to share. And that's the thing I like about our community is that there's a lot of sharing that happens. So if you guys haven't already, look us up on Facebook. That's the Jewelers Corner. And then you have to have a bender. Right. You've got to have the. I forgot. <laughs> you have to have your die, silly. I was like, why is it not going? <laughs> um, another thing that's happening too, uh, in the next three weeks, yeah, about two weeks after the girls start. So in about three weeks from now. I will be launching my online course. It's called the Freeform Cuff. If you guys would like to know more information about that, plus I've got a six video series uh, that's coming up that's going to start. Uh, I think I launched that next week. That series is totally free, but if you want to learn more about that and you guys want to hear what's involved with both the course and the free series, I have a, a, a form, an early bird list that you guys can sign up early for. Bird? Early bird? Because, well, the reason we call it an early bird is because you before I launched the course, oh, I hate waking up early. Me. But before I launched the course, I give everybody on that list they get advance notice and they get to sign up for the course before anybody else. There's already 450 people on that list, which blows me away because I've only, I haven't really talked much publicly about this course. I send out one email and there's 450 people on the list already. So I, I'm surprised. I was hoping for like 130. And so there were 450. I was like, woohoo! You think so? I, I was Guys, just, isn't she awesome? I was just happy. <laughs> She's awesome so. and amazing. Aw, thank you. You have to say that. <laughs> no, I don't. I just choose to. Well, you have to, but I'm glad that you choose to as well. <laughs> so, yes. If they all I know, say it, coming. they don't have to say that's it. That's true. Can't. They don't have to. But anyway, so if you guys would like to know more information about that, that's out at freeformcuff.com. 
and you can just sign up for the early bird. The only thing that you put on there is your name and your email. It does put you onto an email list, but that email list is dedicated solely to that particular course. Oh, and so once the course is launched and going, you won't get emails on it anymore anyway. Uh, so anyway, if it's something you guys are interested, freeformcuff.com. And let me show you a couple of the projects that uh, we work on or styles within that real quick. I'll show you. So freeform cuff indicates that it is freeform. There is no pattern that we follow. Uh, it, it's kind of a, a unique way that I teach where I teach the techniques, but I'll give you a project and you can choose whether or not you want to follow that project. So this is one that I made this last week Whoa. that kind of goes along with that course. Mommy. You guys can see that. And so That's we'll talk about, it is. it is really good. So we'll talk about creating bezels and tube settings not only prefabricated ones but actually making your own as well so this gives you another example or style where you know the bracelets like completely different from one side to the next and so we talk about some of the design challenges and whatever else uh, a matter of fact there will be an email going out today so if you guys are interested in that that one is actually on my melissa muir metal smith uh email list if you guys would like to be on that i'll post a link down in the the description of the video but like here's another one that's a very simple one yeah i haven't finished this one i still need to do the polish and patina on it but oh i love that stone isn't that a pretty stone yeah, that's a good stone in that one. So anyway, so it gives you kind of an, an idea of, oh, here's a couple more, of some of the things that are covered. We'll talk a little bit about like how to do that decorative border on there. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what the course is about. I'm very excited. And it's not just about making the cuff. The cuff is a byproduct. The whole course is about mastering your torch, mastering your finishing skills, Ooh. and having the ability to do all of that. Look, I so, got a ring. Kind of fun. So freeformcuff.com. That is kind of a cool a ring. Little, um, you got a little wet. What are you doing? Oh, you're going to switch the camera? Okay, well now you've switched the camera. Come here, you got No, it's right here, sweetie, right here. Yes, it's on this camera. So, here's what she's decided she's done. Big butt head. <laughs> yep, Kiari's coming in and pushing everybody out of the way. So. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and call it a day. Um, thank you guys for joining us. We will be back tomorrow, what time? 145. 145 Mountain Time. Mountain Time. And so we'll pick up. Have a happy unicorn day. <laughs> Bye. Oh, Glenda, you said that my concentrator and Smith arrives tomorrow. I am so excited for you. I would like to do a concentrator. I don't have that yet. Uh, new Plumber's Torch definitely has a learning curve, I'll bet. Um, yes. Oh, well, I'm glad that it's helpful for you guys. So um, tomorrow we will pick up. We will start soldering and we will learn how to solder a fun little embellishment onto Kiari's mm -hmm. ring and maybe a little tube setting, we'll have to see. Like what I did? Yes, and then Kia or Kate's. Oh, it's hard to see the um, bag when you have that on. Kate's ring, uh, she needs to actually make two more rings. So we'll talk a little bit about the process of how you make sure that those are the right size for a spinner ring. All right, okay. So we will see you guys tomorrow uh, let's see, make sure we got all of our Bye comments. Everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We've missed you guys. And thank you, thank you again, both Benera and Glenda. We appreciate your monetary support. So thank you. Okay, should we do our bow? Should we do our thank you? Uh, we'll do yeah. our thank you. Unicorn thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Unicorn thank you. Unicorn, unicorn thank, thank you. you. Well, unicorn, unicorn thank wouldn't you. It wouldn't that be like this? <laughs> or like this. Thank you. Unicorn, thank you. Unicorn, thank you. Unicorn, thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, we missed you guys too. So thank you again, and we will see you guys tomorrow.